Hi, I'm Chantal with Growing Up Without Borders and today we are doing a special visit to this beautiful town below me called Veuve, Switzerland. So let's go along, we'll show you all the top things to see and do and we'll tour the town. So we are going to share with you some of the top things to see and do when you come here to Vevey, Switzerland. So first of all, this is Vevey behind me. This whole city down here below um, in Switzerland, a lot of the cities are right next to the others. So you've got Vevey right next to a beautiful little town called La Tour de Paix, and uh, it literally goes on all the way to Montreux and basically over there where the Chateau de Chillon is way in the distance. So, so some of the things you can see and do when you're here in Vives, Switzerland is one, go and make sure you enjoy the old town. It has all these beautiful shops, restaurants, boutiques. There's the whole walkway all along the water that you can walk right below me if you see in the distance where you see that round uh, circle building and then the building beside it that's the nestle headquarters guys and you can walk all the way from there all the way along the water it's absolutely gorgeous and beautiful um, you can go swimming there's a pool there near nestle as well if you want to swim in the lake you can go ahead and jump in the lake at many of the spots right along the waterfront so speaking of events this summer they had the most famous event of the year. It only happens every 20 to 25 years and it's La Fête des Vignerons, which is yeah. also the winemakers festival. The show represents a year in the life of the vineyard, going through 20 different scenes starting and finishing with harvest. Another fun thing to do is ride the CGN boats because they're all along Lake Geneva and they're really fun. They have first class, second class, and on the boats there's different styles. La Suisse is one of the best ones, I think, because it's the prettiest one. And as well, you can go all along Lake Geneva. So something over there in saint Legier, a short drive away, they have this river that is a bit cold, but you can swim in it and it ends up in Lake Geneva. And something also that's cool about it is they've got like a green park there just to sit down and have fun. So just to clarify, I just asked Angelique, well, what is a green park? And she said, if you say a park, then people like Angelique will get disappointed because there's no actual kids play park. So it's, when she says a green park, that means like, it's like a park where you can go and have a picnic and relax and enjoy and it's green. <laughs> I definitely recommend the Charlie Chaplin Museum because it has loads of things to do and it's really fun. Another museum here is the Alimentarium, Alimentarium Museum. It's right along the water and actually there's a fort in the lake to represent the museum and it's really fun. You can test all these things like what's good for your health to eat and there's all these cool things inside. There's a couple other museums. There is a toy museum over in La Tour de Paix. It's also right along the water, but a little bit further out. Um, it's okay. I'm not sure that I would say it's like great or anything like that. And then there's another one we have not experienced yet. You would take a train from Vevey all the way up to Blonay, and it is a train museum. So if you're into trains, that's probably the place to go and enjoy. Um, last thing you can do that is absolutely amazing for those of you who are into wine, we are right beside the area of Lavo, and Lavo is a UNESCO World Heritage Protected Area, and you have all the vines and the vineyards there, and you can take a wine train and go throughout the vineyards, enjoy the beautiful scenery, sample some wine, and it's just a beautiful uh, thing to see. The views are spectacular. 
And lastly, there is the Nestle Museum. For all of those of you who want to know about Nestle, <laughs> that's the, play, <laughs> the place to go. So right down there below, where Nestle is across the street from there, you can take a funicular. And that funicular literally goes straight up the mountain. From there, you can go enjoy a nice drink if you want. There is also a hotel there called Le Mirador. It has the most stunning view. So that's a really fun thing to see and do. We hope this video helped you plan your visit here. Please subscribe and give us a big thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.